Here's a fun game. See if you can pinpoint the exact moment that Trump realizes the entire stadium is booing him. Yeah, it's not a hard game. Trump's introduction came after the third inning during Game 5 at Nationals Park, where Trump finally got to see firsthand how Americans who aren't his desperate rally-goers actually feel about him. In fact, Trump showing up at the World Series was the first time during his presidency that he's been at any Washington sporting event. He hasn't even eaten at a Washington restaurant that didn't have his name on it. Although that's probably for good reason, considering the booze in the stadium reportedly reached as high as 100 decibels. Granted, he was insulated by a group of Republican congressmen, but I'm sure the president could still hear the less than warm reaction from the crowd, even over Matt Gaetz' groveling. The moment came as Trump decided to show up despite the Nationals refusing to extend an official invitation. Whereas presidents usually throw out the ceremonial first pitch when they attend a game, Trump probably bristled at the very predictable prospect of getting booed, of not being able to bask in the adulation that he craves more than anything. And considering he took only 4% of the vote in Washington DC in 2016, it was probably a safe bet that he wasn't gonna get the reception he wanted at the stadium. And so while Trump didn't throw out the first pitch, he did make a brief appearance on the big screen in the outfield, at which point the stadium switched course from cheers to boos in an instant. There was one chant he could recognize, with the entire stadium yelling lock him up, although I'm not sure he found too much comfort in its familiarity. And by the way, it wasn't just the boos and the chants. Fans also unfurled a massive banner reading impeach Trump in left field, and another banner reading veterans for impeachment behind home plate, just in case the boos didn't quite get the message across. The first pitch was instead thrown out by world-renowned chef and humanitarian Jose Andres, an especially telling choice given that he's one of Trump's most vocal critics. Andres was thrust into the political spotlight for backing out of his plans to open a restaurant in the Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. after Trump started criticizing Mexican immigrants at the outset of his campaign. Trump sued him, and the lawsuit was settled in 2017, but that hasn't stopped the celebrity chef from relentlessly criticizing him, especially after Trump's disastrous response to Puerto Rico, because while Andres don't donated a staggering 3.6 million meals to Puerto Ricans, Trump was busy blaming those on the island for their crime of getting hit by a Category 5 hurricane. Which might explain why, while Trump was getting booed loud enough to shatter glass at the World Series, Jose Andres managed to get a standing ovation. It's almost like not being depraved pays off. Honestly, I wouldn't expect to see Trump at another public event where he isn't either assured absolute adulation by the crowd or stands to make a windfall of profits from it. Although, I do have to give him a little bit of credit. Because the truth is we live in a divided country, and with a World Series that could reach seven games, you could even argue that no two groups are more divided right now than Astros and Nationals fans. And yet, against all odds, it seems that Trump did, if just for a moment, bring everyone together.